Welcome to Moo Moo Math and Science. In this video, let's talk about energy levels, sublevels, and orbitals where the electrons are found. Okay, let's start with energy levels. There are up to seven energy levels, and each level can hold a maximum number of electrons. It takes more energy to move to a higher level, say from energy level, also called the principal quantum number, from one to to two. You can use a formula to know the maximum number of electrons for each energy level. And it's two times n squared. And n is the principal quantum number. And here's a chart with how many electrons each level can hold. Again, remember as you move away from the nucleus, the energy level increases. So let's look at at least the first four levels. Level one, you have two times 1, which is 2. Level 2, you have 2 times 2, which is 4, which equals 8. Level 3, you have 2 times 3 squared, which is 9, which is 18. And then level 4, you have 2 times 16, which is 4 squared, and um, that is 32. Now, here's a picture of that. Now, within each shell, you have sublevels. And the sublevels are S, P, D, and F. And they can each hold a maximum number of electrons. S can hold 2, P can hold 6, D, 10, and F, 14. And notice that they go up by 4. But now let's take a visual picture of this. Okay, So you have N1, you have the s, but now each s will have an orbital, and each orbital can hold two electrons. Okay, so you have s with one orbital, then p is going to have three, because remember it's the max is uh, six, and then you have d, and it has five orbitals, and then f will have seven, so it can get to 14. Now, from there, you, um, you, can, you finally have what is called the Pauli exclusive principle, which says that electrons spin in opposite directions, which is represented by arrows. So let's go back to the levels. Notice in the S, you're going to have an arrow up and down. And then in the P, for each orbital, you're going to have a up and down arrow to represent the different types of spinning. And then for the D, you will have the same. And then for F. So, I hope that was helpful. Thanks for watching. And remember, kindness multiplies kindness. Be kind to someone today.